Hey, thanks for joining me today. Today we're gonna try something different. We're gonna make an alcoholic drink that's famous to the island of Madeira, Portugal. Omnipresent throughout the island. I mean, every bar, every restaurant. You go into like a souvenir shop and they'll have like a big lemonade jar that we would maybe see in the US, just a big container, maybe gallon size. And every single place, whether it's a little souvenir shop or a bar, or um, a lot of times they have little neighborhood grocery stores that you can't even tell are grocery stores are almost just part of a house. They just open up the garage and each one has their own version of this function. So no matter where you go throughout the island, it's always there. I went to a, in Santana, Madeira, I went to a famous area and it was just a souvenir shop and it's, you know, 10 in the morning. It's totally appropriate to have this drink any time of the day. Pretty simple, fresh lemon, fresh orange juice, honey, and you either could use Aguadint, basically a rum-based alcohol. So in Madeira, they have Aguadint, which means uh, water with teeth, or something like a Cachaça, which is a Brazilian rum, a white rum, or if you don't have those in your house, any white rum will do, like a Bacardi rum. It's very traditional to use this a little muddling stick. There's a very specific muddler that they use in Madeira. It goes by a few names, Pau de Poncha, which means stick for poncha, to mix the poncha, a mix a lot, which is basically a mixing stick, or the most popular name is carajilo, which means little cock. I'm sure they're referring to a little rooster. And basically, you know, this is the way it looks throughout the island. It's very, they'll, they'll use it in this fashion, almost like a, a muddler and a mixer to blend the honey into the drink really well. A shout out to Joe's Bar in Madeira, Portugal. Look it up if you go there. I've, you know, I've probably had it five, ten places, but Joe's Bar, I thought I always just had such a delicious poncha. Let's get to it. All right, first thing I'll do is squeeze the juice of one lemon and one orange. I think it's good to have it fresh, you know. I'm gonna let it steep maybe for an hour. Probably most often I've seen it just served without ice. We'll post the recipe on my webpage, justcookwithmichael.com. It's said in Madeira that poncha cures the common cold. People are actually encouraged to drink it if they have cold-like symptoms. Next, I'm gonna just cut up my orange and cut up my lemon. Now I'm gonna put in my honey. It really could vary. Some people like it sweeter than others. So it could vary anywhere from two to five tablespoons of honey. And now I will muddle the honey, just kind of pulverize the citrus. I haven't put the alcohol in there yet or the juice. Basically what you're doing here is you're pulverizing the cells to extract flavor. You're pulverizing the skin. The, the skin of the citrus has a lot of natural oils that are just delicious, the zest. Now I'll put in the one cup of aguadent rum. So one cup of rum. That already smells so good. Now I'm gonna put in the juice from our lemon and orange. It's really good, giving Joe's bar a run for their money. Yeah, it's, it's delicious right there. But I'm gonna let it steep like a tea for about an hour or two. And then I will strain out the the pulp and the, the rind, and this will be good. Probably for about a week, absolutely delicious. Way better, you can buy poncha at the souvenir shops that's already bottled, but I definitely believe the fresh stuff is way better. Because I've had both and it really doesn't compare. So again, go out and make your own poncha for your next party, absolutely delicious. It's really good and strong, but just the orange and lemon that come out on it and the honey. Delicious. Thank you. Now go out, cook, and drink with someone you love.